right, so welcome back. Uh, it's still the AM show here on the Journey Channel. Time for us to bring you the papers. And it's me alongside the man. Okay, every other time when he's on, he describes me in a certain way. Now he's the most diabolic hey, person hey, I've hey, seen. Hey, hey, My hey, brother hey, from hey. the University <laughs> of uh, Accra. Hey. All right, but the, university, the, the name is University of Ghana, Legon. So if you take Ghana from there, it's Legon, isn't it? Anyway, how are you doing? Let's not go there. How are you? You've gone there. You're asking me. He, no, you're no, telling no. me we shouldn't go there. I'm not going anywhere. I just, I, I just passed through. But if I'm to go there, Charlie, you, you can't sit here to do that shit. <laughs> but I spare you. You, uh, UCC, I'll just, I'll just relax for you guys for, for, <laughs> for, for, for this show. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it behind the scenes. <laughs> you know those people who will tell you, Ceci and I'm free, I'm sorry, but in fact, I'm quite sorry. I'm quite sorry, but I'm quite sorry, but no, you may be here. Anyway, Charlie. Yo. Good to have you on the show. Good to have you too. Good to be here, you know. Mm. Uh, especially a day that the Black Stars will be sealing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah. sealing it. And I'm yeah. so proud because yeah. Senegal took the lead in qualifying, placing second. Yeah. The last time they were there, on fair play grounds, mm -hmm. they were, you know, removed because they were on the same points, I think, with Japan or so. Mm -hmm. And because they had a yellow card, yeah. an extra yellow card, mm -hmm. they, on fair play grounds, they had to okay. leave the tournament. This time round, they've qualified, yeah. and I'm so happy yeah. uh, for them. They've, they've cast away the demons and that first loss as now, yes, yes. Uh, to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Morocco has done it. I'm so proud yeah. of Morocco. And they topped their, their, beating, their table. Yes, mm -hmm. beating... The, the Belgian team, second ranked yes. in the world. Yes. You know, I think Croatia is now second, Belgium third, mm. and I've forgotten which team is well. fourth, whether it's, um, which one is it anyway? I, and, I'm happy and in our group, mm. I mean, look, today this is what I'm looking forward to, okay. honestly. Mm. I want us to thrash Uruguay. Okay. Three, four goals. Mm. And answered, hopefully. You see, but that, 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 would, and, be, that would be and, painful, though. And mm -hmm. for... South Korea mm -hmm. to pull a surprise, a rabbit out of the hat, and give it to Portugal. Mm. In that instance, if they beat them by two goals, one goal, and we have quite a number of goals there, mm -hmm. we'll be level on six points, and we could place first. I'm just trying to... Oh, I'm going to Brazil. Well, well, well yeah, I'm see, Brazil. look, it's not, okay, that we can't, it's, it's not that we can't yes, beat Brazil. Yes. It's that but I would prefer that we sure. face maybe between, Switzerland. Between Brazil, 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 Switzerland, and Serbia. You go for Switzerland or Serbia. So, we, yes. yeah, I agree yes. with you. Uh, I pray that you do the magic for us so that we can we can qualify mm -hmm. and top our, our, our table and go and meet Switzerland. I mean, they, they, are, they are easy to beat, really. Um, hey, they are, they are not easy like that. Oh, we can beat them. They are one of the top-ranked teams. Just no, we because can, we played we a friendly with them and beat them 2-0 yeah. doesn't mean... But, do you know they yeah, rested yeah, a lot I, of I, their yeah, players? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Though we also didn't have party. But, and but we can party. beat them. We can. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. But just as we can beat Brazil. I just want to add this. Mm -hmm. While we're all hoping, mm -hmm. let's not go on the path of vengeance. Mm -hmm. Because let's put a... Yes, the Bible says vengeance belongs mm -hmm. to the Lord. But let's put, set that aside. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that sometimes when you, you're going to do something, even if you're very good and you're, you're, you can win, if you have a vengeful then, mindset, yeah, yeah. it can confuse you, you'll get sloppy. The great news and is that the boys who are going to be on the field have said, oh, no, it's, it's a normal game. The captain said, oh, but in that team, I'm the only survivor here. Right. So it's not about that. People have called on the team to yeah. go and watch what happened yeah. in 2010 but the boys, and all of that. Uh, it's not really about vengeance. They want to qualify. So the boys have, have made up their mind. They are not there to revenge what happened in 2010. Great. If at the end of the day we beat them, that's when we'll bring in that, yeah, we have avenged what you did to us in 2010. I'm, I'm hoping to see how uh, uh, Suarez... But have you heard him? Well, oh, yeah. Have, have you heard him speak? That's what, that's what I'm saying. That he says they, they which, know how to do this. They well, have done it before. Okay. They will do it again. Okay, yo. We're He's rubbing here. salt in our wounds. No, no, no. We are here. I mean, we are here. Mm. We won't give them the chance for them to come and say, I'm going to catch the boy. And then now no, there's, 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 no, no. We are, look. Hold on. But, but I have a, 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 a little problem with our team. Mm -hmm. In defense, yes. we tend to lose focus. Yes. If you look yes. at the first and second matches, mm -hmm. how within a space of two, three minutes, mm -hmm. we're able to concede two goals back to back. Mm -hmm. Portugal saying, yeah. and it cost us. Then we couldn't come back. Um, Iñaki Williams couldn't net that last minute. Yeah. It would have been fantastic. Solid. Same thing happened in the South Korea match. I'm merely saying... Our defense really needs to get its act mm. together. You still have Liverpool, you know, forward midfielder come forward, um, Darwin Nunez. Yeah. In there. Yeah. You have Luis Suarez, yeah, maybe he's, he's, old, he's still, he's still uh, sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, on the other hand, if we are a little sloppy, mm -hmm. trust me, the Uruguayans are not coming to lose all. Yeah. We should keep that in mind. Now, I'm, I'm sure that, that 
the coaches. And, and you see, this is a team that has so many coaches at, at their disposal. Mm. We have three local coaches who are very good. We have, uh, you know, another three uh, international coaches that are very good. Chris Hutin is the director. You have uh, the guy who was at, at Aston Villa uh, as a deputy uh, manager. Yeah. You have the... I Boating. Boating, yes. Right. You have the... Uh, Otuado himself as the... So, you know, six very good coaches. And when we're going to play the Koreans, the Koreans told us something that they have seen a, a challenge with our defense and they were exploited. And indeed, that's what they did. Yeah. So I'm sure by now, if they have not worked on that, then I'll be surprised what we are doing. Because when we lose concentration for two, three minutes, our opponent are able to, able to capitalize on that and they score. So I'm sure they have done some works, you know, on that aspect. Um, it's just unfortunate that I, I couldn't play to my potential when I started, but... I mean, when I was in, when I was. Master, this is not the time for regret. Yeah. So, about to create, we have in our own back. Yeah, that's it. You know, when, when I was playing. When you were I mean, playing, with yeah. You. I mean, in defense, uh -huh. we have to have someone to master and control the line. So, so you were the Franca Bangwa of your I time? I tell you what. Uh, my team trusted me so much. Everybody can go, I'll be there, but no way. Uh, unless you are like three people but if it's one-on-one -on -one, jesus yeah. christ yeah but yeah okay. we, we wish them all the best you know? okay mm -hmm. okay wish them okay. all the best you no know, one all of, right one of my guys is, is calling me about you know if i were if i had played to my potential maybe ah uh, well you're fulfilling your potential <laughs> in the media in the media space uh, we want you to fulfill your full potential here yeah. uh, football in the air it came it came Let's look at the uh, papers we have. You know, usually on holidays, yeah. Farmer's Day. Mm -hmm. And today we have quite some interesting packages for you. Mm. Even in my blunt thoughts, I'll be talking at Greek partly, partly about agriculture mm. and where we find ourselves as a country. Uh, Bernice Abubedo Lanza also has some interesting packages that have been put together for you on Farmer's Day. Mm. But the papers tend to be lean. They yeah. tend to diet on uh, holidays like this and it's it's obvious when you look at the daily graphic and, and other papers mm. but we have some of them that are out let's take a look I have the daily graphic and you have I have the Ghanaian Times and the Daily Guide news all right let's take a look at them from your okay, so Ghanaian Times uh, 1.4 million dollars narcotic drugs busted NACOG makes big drug heel at a uh, drug hall at uh, central post office now let's get you the details of the story now it says that the, and this story was written by Nyanko Irenchi. The Narcotics Control Commission, NACOG, has intercepted five boxes of alleged narcotic drugs estimated at $1.4 million at the central post office in Accra. The boxes, which were all de destined for the United Arab em Emirates, were discovered to contain a total of 150 packets of coffee labeled Café Nigel Classic. I'm sure you, you could have pronounced it better. Uh, each packet was found to contain 60, 624 tablets, adding up to a total of 93,600 tablets with an estimated street value of $1.4 million. The head of public affairs and international relations department of NACOG, Nana Osei Nkwantabisa, disclosed this to the Ghanaian Times in Accra yesterday. He said a, fa a failed test conducted on the tablet proved positive for <coughs> amphetamine uh, or you say amphetamine amphetamines, yeah. amphetamine uh, narcotic drug so that's that's the the story there uh, and they were they were in the post office charlie this one but it's quite a haul eh? it's yeah. quite a bust really it, it's a good job dollars. yeah 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 street value it don't be joke matter mm. Uh, it's like like says, the economy may cut, so people won't do all kinds of things. People okay, it says that Nanan Kwantabisa stated that samples of the exhibit had been forwarded to the Ghana Standards Authority for analytical examination while investigations continue. He urged the public to refrain from engaging in trafficking of narcotic drugs, which is a criminal offense under Section 37 of the Narcotics Control <laughs> Commission Act 2020, Act 1019. Well, um, again, and this is a big story <clears> for Ghana. <throat> Court rejects Atwesian's 90 million city settlement agreement with state. Now, Benti Odro writes, the Accra, Circuit, uh, the Accra High Court yesterday rejected a 90 million city settlement agreement between William Atwesian, founder of the defunct Capital Bank, who is standing trial for misappropriation of funds and the state. The court found the proposed amount unsatisfactory and of no punitive cost to the, to the accused. The court was ready to deliver judgment on a case which had lasted nearly three years, but had to stay judgment at the last minute. Presiding Judge Justice Elvis Chebafo noted that he was prompted on the eve of the judgment by the court registrar about the terms reached by the two parties. However, he expressed discontent 
over the terms, stressing that, and I quote, just yesterday, the register of the court brought to my attention a document captioned agreement between the Republic and Atwesian. I have a number of issues and until I am satisfied, I will not accept it, he said. The agreement reached under Section 35 of the Court Act 1993 led the accused to agree to a plea of guilty and to pay restitution to the state. Contained in the agreement was for the accused to pay 90 million Ghana cities restitution within one year and an agreement to pay 30 million cities on or before yesterday. The remaining 60 million was to be paid within a year. But Justice Chamber 4 explained that the 90 million in, con in contention had depreciated in value as a dollar to the city, which stood at 3.70, um, uh, 3.70 pesos, at the time was now 13.70 <coughs> pesos. Quote, if accused is made to pay the 90 million cities, then he should be made to pay the money based on the current exchange rate so that Capital Bank will not be <coughs> worse off as a result of money taken by him. Allowing accused to pay 90 million cities will not be full restitution, but just partial, he added. And I am told the judge was very angry. I would be I would be angry yeah. in the judge's mm. you know shoes mm. as well, and and I, I I concur when he says that if we set this precedent and mm. and there has been some other precedents, then it means we're allowing this to go, and people can feel I can do this. Worst case scenario, I'll have to cough up the same amount yeah. of money and go scot free. I'm not I, I don't have anything against Atuesian, mm. um, but I'm saying that. If these people indeed engaged in criminality, I mean, why would you want to go through this entire process claiming you want to clear your name and yeah. prove that you are innocent, mm -hmm. all of a sudden to make this pirouette, yeah. this turnaround and, and claim, oh, now you are willing two days or so to the, the judgment's delivery that you now want to what? Mm. pay up this, this sum of money. I feel these people should, if they are culpable, per what the law stipulates, per the ruling of the court, mm. then they should bear the full consequences, whether it has to do with returning certain sums of money, whether it has to do with jail time or whatever, because mm. these people played with the destinies yeah. of so many people, some who are dead, exactly. some who have committed suicide, as a, as a some who have lost their businesses, mm. some who have lost their finances totally. How can we you know, sit by and allow mm. these people? Mm. And if this goes on, and if, if this is allowed to go on, and if these people are merely made to pay sums of money, mm -hmm. then I think government on its end would have also opened the floodgates mm -hmm. and said, you know what, let's do business. You can yeah. dupe people and, and do whatever. Yeah. All you have to do is pay back a certain sum of money, and you're good to go. And, but, and that would be nonsensical to So me. he, having gone to agree to this agreement, then says that he's guilty, isn't it? Because he says that, the story says... What, he, why is he trying to avoid judgment? Mm, That's the point. Exactly. So, you know... Um, once he has agreed to these terms, it means the judge can base on it to say that, well, you have agreed that you are guilty in it. But let's see how it goes. But I'm happy that the judge said that you cannot do that to a state. If 90 million in 2015, 20, 20, 2015, 90 million in 2015 is not 90 million in 2022, isn't it? It isn't. It, it should be well, some around 25 or something million. I mean, the mathematicians can do the, the depreciation thing. So he said that if you really want to pay, then pay at the current uh, uh, dollar rate. Mm. So, you know... And that I will leave the courts right, yeah. and we'll leave government to deal with these. But mm -hmm. as always, we'll be like the flies, the proverbial fly on the wall. Mm -hmm. We'll be watching. And whatever is done will be used mm -hmm. against those who do this or that. Mm -hmm. Because posterity will judge us for what we're doing. I'm just happy that we found this, this judge. Mm -hmm. According to those who are in court, he says, I cannot leave appeals court. Mm -hmm. Spend three The court years. of appeal, yeah. yeah. Uh, spend uh, three years on this case. For you to just bump up and say we have agreed to settle, uh, for him to uh, pay the same amount he took some, so many years ago, at the same rate, it can't. The be. system we're in. Hmm. I'll I just, leave it I, there. I just pray nothing, nothing changes the, 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 the judge's mind. For him to still stay where he is. Uh, you've also said you, you've judgment. also put another point out mm. because uh, yeah. you know yesterday I was uh, interacting with one Dr. Etiahine on okay. on the banking. He's a guru when it comes to the banking sector, mm -hmm. and he said you know some things nowadays. You, you even refrain from saying them. He said it live on air because the powers that be will attack you, they'll mm. call you, they'll do this, they'll do that, they'll set their social media dogs on you. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's interesting the times we're in, but okay. hey, we'll weather this storm. But this story, just this story from... Go ahead. There, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, CDD bemoans political elite attitude towards national challenges. Now, President Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, some cabinet ministers and members of parliament have been criticized for abandoning the 2023 budget debate to watch the World Cup 
in Qatar. Uh, and I'm sure you will find a space in your blunt tour today. The Director of Advocacy and Policy Engagement at the Center for Democratic Development, Ghana, CDD Ghana, Dr. Kojo Pumpuni Asante, criticized them following reports that some ministers were seen in Qatar cheering on the Black Stars during their march against South Korea. Meanwhile, the MPs were expected to debate the policies announced in the budget. However, most of the majority MPs were not present in the House when the discussions on the budget started. The Minister of Finance, Kenneth Ferrata, was also represented by his two deputies. Reacting to this in an interview on Thursday, Dr. Kojo Pumpini Asante described the absence of the ministers in Parliament as terrible. And those of us who <coughs> listened to the SMS yesterday, you saw how passionate Dr. Asante was. Right. And I share in his views. I mean, can you imagine that, first of all, mm. the finance minister, Kenneth Ferrata, mm. Is not available. I'm told he's on an official assignment to I, Germany. I get it. Mm. But the point is, mm. he's not available. Yes. His deputies. And there have been complaints about that situation. Honorably, mm. are you saying we didn't know that there would be arrangements for him to be in Germany mm. when we're going for the, 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 the budget debate. presentation? Mm. Ordinarily, when? When do you recall that we've had something like this without a finance minister? Mm. So that's a point to be made. Okay. Then, to add you know, insult exactly. to injury, to rub salt in our wounds, mm. You have about 37 MPs from the majority side showing up. Out of 137, 100 now are Amoy. Some are watching football in Qatar and the rest. It's not that, you see, sometimes it's the optics. Yeah. It's how these things exactly. come out. You miss it. At a time like this, that is why in the US you can have a situation and the president is, you know, on vacation or something, quickly comes back. Yeah. In fact, there are instances where there are serious matters that happened. Our presidents are somewhere and they'll finish before they come back. I think that they... It's the optics. Yeah. And how can we be doing this mm. when we are in such dire economic straits and we have to debate yeah. the budget? This budget could be make or break for our well, country. Yeah, yeah. And people are out there chilling. And, and, and that's why I'm shocked they couldn't read between the lines to know that this is a pair we need to show what we call leadership. Lead so that we, the followers, can also follow. But when the leaders have abandoned the ship, the ship that is hmm. headed for, you know, uh, you know um, a colliding in a, in a glazer, and we are left unattended to, we have nobody to lead. It's just chaotic, and it doesn't inspire hope that we can really get out of this uh, mess anytime soon. I feel disappointed that the MPs chose this time to go to Qatar to watch the game. For nothing at all. Yes, maybe you are, you are paying your own ticket. We're not saying that the state paid for it, but we're saying that in the moment we find ourselves, it would have shown much more, you know, it would have been a much more beneficial decision for you to decide to stay in Ghana to help steer the country out of where we are and not to be seen in Qatar having fanfare. When, when a lot of us, majority of us are here, uh, not knowing what the next step of this country will be. So I feel that, in fact, this government let us down big time in the most important period. They shouldn't have gone to Qatar. None of them should have. Looking at the period we're in, it may be your own money, yes, but like you said, the optics matter. The followers need to know that our leaders are inspiring us for us to get out of this mess. But when your leaders are cheering in the midst of challenges, <clears throat> you, know, you know where you're headed. It's, it's just a very, very unfortunate uh, time to be in. Well, uh, let's do the Daily Graphic newspaper. Farmers' Day nominees highlight challenges in the sector. Ghana vowed to drown Uruguay today. We'll see Ghana. Oh, see with mm -hmm. uh -huh. Confronting home ownership challenges, collective action paramount, as Senso Wache at Graphic Grade Affair. There's also Doma East, home of poetry. I'll do some of these stories, then get into other stories, health and also the Wasi uh, as of the latest results that are available. So let's, let's do Farmers' Day uh, first, let's go to page 13. <clears throat> and some best farmer nominees for this year have cited poor road networks to their farms, high interest rates on loans and lack of access to potable water and electricity are some of the challenges facing their smooth operation. They also say the lack of a ready market for their produce also contributed to post-harvest losses. These challenges came to light at a forum organized by the headline sponsor of the 38th National Farmers' Day Awards, the Agricultural Development Bank in Koforidia yesterday. The forum was to herald the awards ceremony scheduled to take place at the Jubilee Park at Koforidia, the eastern regional capital, today. Ah. And so those are some of them. Quick reactions. I know you, you know this space well. Uh. These challenges, do you know what uh. befuddles me? <laughs> We've spoken about these things for 
for as long as I've been alive. You've learned to them. No, for as long as I've been alive <laughs> and, and reading from our past oh my discourse God. on this, yeah. it's been saying. Oh, it never changes. <laughs> what a country. We don't have a plan, really. <clears throat> because if I learned this, challenges that confront agriculture in JSS, Two two thousand. So. Master, before we were born, like, cry, they were they, talking they, about yes. this. So why are you? Why are we still? From let's say, even say if it was two thousand, I learned about this. We are in two thousand. Uh, what twenty twenty two? Isn't it twenty twenty years later? Yes. We are still talking about it. So over the years, what was our plan? If we have come to accept that our Greek really is the backbone <laughs> of this economy, and our Greek is the is a sector that if Ghana really wants to progress. Yep. We can't take advantage of and really transform this country. The Malaysians came for oil palm and they, from us. Yes. Look at what they are doing. They are doing. Do you know how many billions it contributes to their, their agri sector? Coco, same thing. Oh my Yet God. Look at us. Yes. We seem to major in talking about our challenges and finding a way. I always say that, look, there's a road <laughs> in my community, Agoran Kwanta. Mm. Today, when I drive on it, erosion has eroded a lot of the soil. And I ask myself, ah, so over 20 years, could we have decided that every year we'll do a kilometer of, of that road mm. and even tour it and tell the people that we'll use the, re the revenue to, to construct the road? Would we have had the road in that shape? We wouldn't. So what is really our strategy? We always come, leaders come to sit in offices and you don't get to have the plan they have to transform our society, <clears> really. <throat> because the challenges that confront Agri and for 20 years, 22 years after I learned about these challenges, we are still talking about it. It, 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 it baffles me really. What is our plan? What is our, 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 our game plan to transform the sector? I hope that if we don't take it, 10 years, 10 years to come, we'll still talk about these same problems. Lack of access road to farms. <clears throat> and we talk about, you know, this, we don't have post harvest, uh, we don't have a storage facility, so we have a lot of uh, crops going. What happened to the after. silos and stuff under Nkrumah? Oh, what See, happened to them? I'll talk about the one in Takradi because that's what I know. If you go there, a private developer has bought the land and has put up a hotel and constructed rooms around the silo for his staff. So that land is gone. We don't have it. And Chroma constructed that. We used our money to, to do it. Today, when you go to a hotel, in Takra, they are premed up. Those who know will tell you. God have mercy on them. So the visionary president set this mm. country on a path of growth. But all the people that have come after him really have not matched up. Let's do some more stories. Sometimes um, <clears throat> it gets so easy drowning yourself in the negatives uh, here in Ghana. Because there are so many of them. Our land is replete with them and our leaders are not helping. Mm. But... Maybe we should keep hope and optimism alive. Mm. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get different and get better. But let's look at this story. Confronting home ownership challenges. Collective action. Paramount. Uh, Asen Subwache, that is the housing minister oh. at Graphic Great Affairs. So <clears throat> real estate players, individuals and institutions must collaborate to find solutions to challenges confronting home ownership in the country. The Ministry of Works and Housing, Francis, uh, the Minister of Works and Housing, Francis Hassan Subwachi, who made the call, said the, quote, government recognizes this huge challenge and is critically looking at the general institutional architect architecture that drives the housing sector. He made the call at the opening of a three-day housing fair organized by the Graphic Communications Group Limited in collaboration with the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association and Accra yesterday. Meanwhile, we have Saglemi, which we've put up oh, for sale. Is it even only Saglemi? Mm -hmm. When you were talking about it, I was just fuming. Look, the State Housing Corporation, that is supposed to look at affordable housing for us. Go and ask how much they are putting up structures. Mm. 400, no, is even, 400 is even, is even uh, cheaper, isn't it? They are putting up structures, targeting the people who could have uh, houses in uh, cantonment and all of that. So what is really, what is our plan? <clears throat> and we talk about affordable housing, we talk about whatever, whatever. Really, I, I don't think, I think we talk more than we do. Mm. They should be targeting... What, what, what are you saying? You think we talk more than we do? Okay. Or you know we I talk know. more than we I do? Know. I know, I know, I know, I because, know. Okay, because you see, I, I, I chased the state housing co co corporations' uh, structures on, on social media. And I, I went to ask, oh, how much is this? Because I thought you were talking about affordable. The money they mentioned. And the fact that you even need to do a down payment of a certain large amount. Then who are, who are you building for? How affordable is affordable? You are building for the people who can build on their own. Who can afford the, the, the higher money? And, and you really? ask yourself, when back then we put together Madi, uh, Dan Suman. Dan Suman. 
as that sort of community, estates and all of that, what was the thinking? How were people able to afford it when Nkrumah was working on the Kaukudi area? And look at us today. Sometimes I ask myself, how different was Nkrumah's thinking? And how different, how inept, how, how incompetent are our leaders today? I, it's simply crazy. We have everything in this country. Yet, look at the young people. Hey, it's, it, it's serious, really. When I hear them talk about affordable housing, I, I'm like, they should, they should keep quiet, really. Well, what is affordable about what they do? That the state and the state housing corporation is building houses being sold at. Yeah, am I right to say four hundred thousand cities? I think I'm. I'm, I'm wrong, but four hundred thousand and above. Mm -hmm. So the the person <clears throat> who is uh, you know working as a teacher can he afford that that house? Ah. But these are the people you target when you are talking about affordable. And houses. even when they are done, uh, they sell it to themselves. Ah. They they find relatives to front for them. And our system has completely gone to the dogs. And the minister should watch how now houses are being priced in dollars in this country. We have said that pricing things in dollars is taking our city into the uh, uh, gutters, isn't it? So why are we still sitting aloof for real estate owners to be pricing their asset in dollars? Look, today, if you go to uh, Chado, places that you could you could rent for 500 cities now they know that the burgers will be coming i'm told people have now you know taking their their rooms and they are converting them into short time stay charging dollars really what are we doing in this country ah <sighs> um so oh. let's wrap with these stories i'll take some international stories three of them and just look at some two more stories then you'll wrap with the daily guide mm. four ivorian extremists face terrorism and murder charges that story on page five of the daily graphic Ruto, Kenya's Ruto launches flagship credit scheme for the poor. Mm. Ghana can learn from this. Mm. Ramaphosa to be impeached. That's the question. And now uh, the South African president is being, yeah. you know, haunted over the Farmgate scandal. And he could actually get impeached. Some $4 million involved uh, there. But when you turn to page 10, 2022 WASI results. Candidates perform yeah. better in math, English, and social studies. You can check out the details from there. I'll focus though on inadequate kidney equipment, high cost of treatment, causes of fatalities. And uh, lack of equipment coupled with the high cost of uh, treatment of kidney diseases has resulted in the death of many patients mm. in the country. According to the president of the Ghana Kidney Association, Professor Samson Entry, every child di diagnosed with end-stage kidney disease either dies in a health facility or is counseled to go home and die. Adding, this is what we live with and the narrative must change. Mm. Today, at 50 years of dialysis, many more citizens who need this life-saving medical service die because of a lack of access and prohibitive costs of care, which is in contrast to what pertains in other countries such as Cameroon and Sudan. Sudano, Sudan. Mm. Mm. You are done. Yeah, yeah, can. Sudan. I am done. Mm. I'm done. Mm. This country, Anka said, will not do this, but will be big talk and, and we'll be walking around in Qatar, mm. not even dealing with our budget. Anyway, that's it for me. Let's wrap with the Daily Guide. Daily Guide, Mensha Nessa Strike today. Um, IMF team visit Ghana for Bela Talks. Um, yeah, I think these are the stories that stand out for me in the papers. Um, we have just about a minute. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, this one says that the, an international monetary fund team led by Stefan Rudert is in the country to continue discussions on the country's request for a support program. The visit is expected to last till Tuesday, December 13. The fund said a statement issued on uh, Wednesday. Ghana turned to the IMF for help in July asset balance of payment deteriorated and hundreds took to the street to protest against economic hardship. Now, as for the Minister Nessa striking today, is in relation to the NSS, our central regional director, who verbally abused uh, one of. What do you think of that? What, what do you make of that? Yeah, I, I feel that well, their action is, I think, is un un unnecessary, because yeah, the man acted wrongly. The whole country has bashed him. The NSS have suspended him pending investigations, and if you leave patients because of one person verbally abusing one of you. I, I am talking for the patient who would need your services today. Right. And it is based on that that I'm saying it's needless. We have supported them this, all this while. I feel that they should have listened to the sentiment of the people of Ghana. Everybody supported you. You don't erode that sympathy you have by embarking on this strike that will turn the country against you. So sometimes when yes, you, yeah. you have to be careful exactly. how you go about it. Exactly. Sometimes you have a good one, but then 
uh, you keep on, you keep on, you know, Classic. making your point, and mm -hmm. then people. Yeah. But but you see, while I agree with you, I feel they are overstretching it. Yeah. At the same time, I'm also looking at the other angle, mm -hmm. and they will talk about precedent. What right. has happened in the past mm -hmm. with people throwing themselves around, raising yeah. their shoulders, ruffling feathers, and thinking, oh, because you are this and that. You know, there's this line. I, I think I I copied it from somewhere. Mm -hmm. The, the, the man goes something like, uh, do you know who I am? I am, I am the, the Ashanti regional boss of the NSS. He and he asks her who her father is. And mm. she says, my father yeah. is also somebody. I mean, even if he's not in such a position. But you see, I just feel that while this will affect the entire nation, I, don't, I, I wouldn't necessarily condemn their action. Why has the NSS? Yes, you've suspended the person. Mm. Why, why, why not go forward? What is going to be the end game? NSS, yeah. make it clear. Mm. You get it. I feel some people should be made an example of yeah. so that such sebi sebi nonsense mm -hmm. of leadership. Oh, I am this. I am in this position. So the heck what? Yeah. yeah I, I, Who the heck mm. are you? We have that thing in this country. Mm. I am this and I am that. So you should treat me. Mm. Ben, like, like I said, I agree. Such a foolish mentality. I agree that the man should be sad, really. If they want to show that leadership matters, this is what the, the government have to do. Sack the guy. But... I'm saying that the nurses should consider the, the patient who are in the water and will be needing their services. You can that, still, that, that I agree with. If you the people, 100%. if the government, after the investigation, still keep the man in, then we will all support them to, to do something. Mm. But now they have the, the NSS have taken a you know a decision to suspend. I think we should have. But Ben, uh, one of my guys, he's called Buju. He says, "I'm watching you live. Please tell him your name is Polo, the Great Defender." Mm. Yeah. Ayo. That is, that okay, is, so yeah. right before we get into sports, would you like to know what I'm talking about today? The title. Yeah, I, I read it in the, I mean, the introduction was solid. Our economy in shambles. Yeah. Our agriculture in limbo. Oh. And our MPs in Qatar. Oh, boy. The never-ending madness mm. we have to contend with. That's what I'll be sharing my blunt thoughts on this morning. But right now, though, let's talk about sports and the World Cup match today. Uruguay's Luis Suarez refuses to apologize for the 2010 World Cup handball incident. And he says they are going to pepper us. They've done it before. They'll do it again. Really? Today be today. We'll see what happens. Sports, up next. Mm -hmm.